Amour is an asteroid in astrology that rules romantic love, so it's basically the asteroid of romance. And what Amour is doing can show our approach to romance. Amour enters Gemini on April 11th, 2022, to stay until June 5th, 2022. Gemini is a sign of the mind, so romance may be displayed more via words. We can feel more drawn to romantic poetry, write sweet love notes, and want to actually talk with those we're interested in romantically. Romance can be cultivated through mental connections. Gemini is also a dual sign, so many may be juggling more than one romance at the moment. Gemini can be scattered and unfocused, so we do have to watch for being flighty with romance. While in Gemini, Amor will make four major aspects to the transit planets. It'll square, which is a challenging aspect, Mars in Pisces on April 21st, and this might bring out frustrations and aggravation with romance. We have to be careful we're not letting anger elsewhere get in the way of romance. A more will sextile, which is a beneficial aspect, Venus and Aries on May 20th. And this links a more up with Venus, the planet of love, making this a great aspect for romance. It can be easier to show affection and time spent with romantic interests can be much more pleasant and enjoyable. A more will trine, which is a beneficial aspect, Saturn in Aquarius, and square Neptune and Pisces, both on May 28th. The trine to Saturn helps with romance and more established relationships, or that is expressed in more traditional ways. The square to Neptune might mean we go a little overboard and need to have some boundaries. By zodiac sign, Amor and Gemini for Aries can make it even easier for you to focus on connecting mentally. It can be a time to write love notes and read love stories and have long conversations with romantic interests. Taurus can be more sensual with Amor and Gemini and want more of a physical connection with your romantic interests. You could take your time with romance and not want anything too wild. Gemini can get a big romantic boost with Amor in your sign and you may want to express romance in many ways. You can feel romantic overall, taking a sort of romantic approach to life. Cancer can be quiet with romance with Amor and Gemini, keeping your feelings to yourself for your romantic interests. You may only be comfortable showing romance for someone when you're alone with them and no one is watching. Leo can come up with unconventional ways of being romantic with Amor and Gemini and may try out things you never have before. You may also take a romantic approach to your dreams. Virgo can be more traditional with romance with Amor and Gemini and can go with the classics, the tried and true, what you're comfortable with and has worked well for you so far. Libra can be more adventurous in romance with Amor and Gemini and may see a big adventure with someone as super romantic. Being bold with your romantic interests can stir up your passion. Scorpio can be more intense romantically with Amor and Gemini and you may only want to be romantic with someone you're very serious about. You can be passionate once you're invested. Sagittarius can be more romantic in all of your relationships with Amor and Gemini and you can take a softer approach. You may want those you're interested in to take the reins though. Capricorn can be romantic in small ways with Amor and Gemini and instead of going with anything big, you can show your feelings in small ways all of the time and do so quietly. Aquarius can go big with Amor and Gemini, opting for louder displays of romance. You can feel much more romantic than usual, and this can inspire you to take bigger chances. Pisces can take an emotional approach to romance with Amor and Gemini, wanting to connect emotionally with romantic interests, and being romantic and affectionate when feeling comfortable and safe. 